Hello everyone, Brian at PS4 Trophies. I'm going to show you how to get the Mida Multi-Tool. It's an exotic scout rifle that you can only get as part of a quest. Now you can only do these quests starting here with the Enhanced Quest once you've completed the main campaign. Now I do recommend, and I'll show you why later, that you should wait until you're about power 265, ideally, if you can do it. So look for the blue banner on your map after you completed the campaign here on Earth, and you can start the first of three quests. Now after the first one, you have to come back and talk to Devram K one more time. Then you can do the second in the enhanced quest line. You can start the quest mission here. Okay. Now I'm not going to spoil any of the quests for you. It's a fun little quest. I do like it a lot. And then you can start the third quest, which ultimately led to a nice little boss battle where some newbies level two and three kind of got caught in the crossfire. Quite humorous to me. Anyway, you gotta talk to Devrim one more time, and at which point, after you complete the third enhanced quest, you're gonna be awarded with the Mida Mini Tool. It's a submachine gun. Now, my light level is 265, so it was a 272 submachine gun that he gave me. After you got the, get that as the quest reward, go to the gunsmith here, the Banshee 44. He is going to give you the sight shoot repeat quest. There's two objectives. The first one is to eliminate enemies with precision shots. You got to get 50 of them. And then you got to get 25 multi kills without reloading. And you got to get three to count. So three and reload, three and reload. So simple as that. You can, of course, check your quest status if you go into your inventory. It's going to be listed in the kinetic weapons part of your inventory. So once you've completed that, you're going to go back to the gunsmith. But before I do, I'm going to go over to the vault. Inside the vault, if you plan ahead, place five scout rifles in there that you don't care about. And you'll see why in just a moment. But I'm going to pull out some scout rifles here. Now once I've done that, I'm going to go and actually turn in the quest and start the next step. So the next quest is under the hood. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this entails. Again, under kinetic weapons. There you go. Dismantle valuable scout rifles. So without even having to move, I'm going to complete this step of the quest by dismantling those scout rifles. Now I got five blue ones, but I'm going to just dismantle this one legendary one because I do not want it. And I love the legendary shards. So the next step is the fall will kill you. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. And this is actually the last step in the quest line here. So this one, as you see, you just got to get 50 airborne SMG kills. Use the Mida mini tool that's uh, that you got earlier if you need a uh, SMG submachine gun. So just jump and shoot. You got to get 50 kills while you're in the air. And after that, we're going to head back to the uh, tower. Now you can see my power is 265. This is the reason why I waited to start this quest because I wanted to get a higher level uh, Midas multi, Mida multi tool. So you can see here it's going to be 282. Now of course you can get a lower level one and then just infuse it up to whatever level you want. But past 265 it gets much harder to raise your power. So there we go. That is how you get the Mida multi-tool. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. You got uh, boost movement speed. You got, of course, the balanced barrel. Shots will knock targets back. And then the radar is going to stay active. And then, of course, increased ability. This is one of the most popular guns in Destiny 1. I'm glad it's in Destiny 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button. Of course, subscribe.